Hi, this is Simon Chan, and welcome to my network marketing training. Uh, members of my coaching mastermind groups can ask me questions on a weekly basis. And today's question comes from Catherine uh, out in Melbourne, Australia. And she says, Hi, Simon. Thanks a lot for your help. I have always had one problem. That's I always feel nervous and not confident whenever I have to invite someone out to the business session. Is there any step-by-step -step ways to improve my confidence? Thank you. Uh, and okay, thank you for the response by Rick. Uh, Rick out on Plano says, Step one is to determine why you are nervous. Look at the four basic beliefs in the industry, in the company, in the products, and in you. Which ones are you lacking? Step two is to build a specific confidence. The most common one I found is lack of belief in your ability to be successful. The other three are kind of fuzzy ideas where you live with yourself every day up close and personal. So having a job means someone else determines your worth. Having a business means you determine how much you are worth. A good book that I explore is A Wealth Without a Job by Phil Lott and Andy Fuhr. Hey, thank you, Rich. Um, that's actually um, one of the benefits of our mastermind group. We have a lot of people sharing ideas. Very good stuff, Rick. I'm going to share really quickly with Catherine what I do. Um, you know, nervousness and not confident, definitely a thing. One of the things, important things to prospect is when you invite someone is put yourself in a good mood, right? And that's why you never watch the news because most of the news... Uh, it's negative. I mean, it's just if you want to prospect. I'm ready to prospect do a meeting. And I hear about there's a, you know, unfortunate suicide bombing, a lot of innocent people dying. How do how would I feel? Instantly, I'll go down, right? Excitement goes down. I feel bad. That's something bad, right? Or I hear about, um, you know, child labor, all this thing. It just down. I mean, it depresses me to hear that news. If so I'm depressed, could I be able to do my business? Right? I, I, of course, the confidence goes down. So number one is to get rid of the negativity. Number two is surround your positive. Do see, list one of the easiest way. Listen to some motivation audio. More than motivational tape that gets you excited. Okay. Number three. So that's very important. And do that on a constant, everyday basis. Again, with the negative and the positive, it's like a war, a battle. It's just overwhelm your negative with positive stuff. Positive book, read, reading uh, something short. Motivation audio. Feed your mind. The last thing, important thing, is before I prospect, I put myself in a good mood. Um, so, and yet, sometimes you're hesitant, you're lazy, you want to pick up the phone. And maybe for me, because I hate picking up the phone. I'm not a phone person. So to call someone, um, so I make myself happy, put in a good mood. So, um, uh, and so I would do something like exercise, working out, right? So for me, I could listen to, I could do some push-ups, 20 push-ups. I'm excited, I'm motivated, I'm, I'm pumped up, right? That's another thing that'll give you confidence. Okay, um, put yourself, listen to music. If you like dancing, put one, two minutes of dancing music, you feel good, boost up your confidence. Pick up the phone and prospect, right? You guys should go read my blog. I wrote a blog about the power, um, the power zone. Learning to manage your emotions using the power zone. For me, it's biking. I get great ideas. I feel good. Uh, I work out. I feel great. A lot of times when I work out, I'm feeling good. I, I don't even shower. I just stay in the gym and just start making prospecting calls. Right, because I'm upside or anything I need to do, writing ideas. I immediately at the gym, I write it down. I may be sweating, smelling. I take 30 minutes and write it down because that's why I'm feeling good. Okay, so builds a confidence. Third thing is just think. The last step is just think about all the positive things you've done. I mean, you're a success already. You're a university student. Not everyone can even go to university, right? You're successful. You have done a lot of things. So doing this business, the same thing. You can be successful too because you've had successes before in your life, whatever you've done, you graduate from you know, secondary school, high school, went to university, whatever you're doing, you've had successes. You've had jobs before, right? You've had successes. You've done well in exams. Whatever it is, you found out some success. So if you can be successful in one area, you can be successful in other areas in, in this business as well. Uh, it's just a transfer of skills, transfer of mindset, right? It's just like maybe, uh, think back, maybe you had a very hard exam and you passed. Right? Because you had to challenge yourself to figure it out and you did it. So if you could do it, you can be successful in this. And like Rick says, in the belief in yourself. We're all born with unlimited potential. We can figure it out. This thing is like a game. Right? And if you've done it. You've had success before. So this one, you can be successful too. So those are the four things I would rec I recommend them. Right? Get rid of the negativity. Number two, you know, overflow with positivity. Number three, get yourself in a happy, pumped up, motivated mood. And the last thing is, um, you know, just think about your previous successes. 
And that could be, you know, when you do that, that could be you're putting, you know, I said putting yourself in the mood at the same time. So when I'm biking, when I'm working out, or when you do your push-ups, or you listen to music, dancing, think about your successes you had. You know, listen to a good song that makes you feel good, and then prospect, right? A last tip, last tip. So here's one thing that makes you merely feel good. If you take a fist, right, and say, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best. I'm the best. And do that 10 times fast. Like, I'm the best, 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 I'm the best. Wow, I feel I feel good immediately just by doing that. Do that 10 times. Pick a fist, pound, I'm the best, I'm the best. 10 times. I bet you you feel much better. Once you do that, pick up the phone and call that person. They can feel that energy in your voice and people remember buy your confidence. So I hope that helps, uh, Catherine. Thanks to everyone for watching my network marketing training. Catherine is a five star mastermind member. Members of my coaching groups can ask me any questions, advice, or tips. Uh, but really, Catherine, apply that, think about that, and um, do that this weekend. And let me know how it works on uh, our, our next coaching call. All right, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Simon Chan. Bye bye.